Hi, I'm Julian Nacol here on behalf of Nacol Law Firm. I'm an attorney here and we're going to be talking about business entities today. Now, there's an array of, biz there's an array of business entities, but there's only two main points I want to talk about. Asset protection and tax liability. Now, you would be amazed how many clients come in here that are running millions in gross revenue and net profit. And they come to me and they say, I'm a sole proprietor. And you know what I say to them? I say, you're running butt naked in a field, okay? You have no protection on your assets whatsoever. Now, a sole proprietorship is opening up a lemonade stand in your front house. You just go ahead and do it. Well, whatever your industry or business is, it, you just begin to work and produce. That's it. The flow is flow through taxation, so you're not going to get double taxed on anything, and none of your assets are protected. So if you are sued individually or you're sued for a breach of contract, they're going to come after your house. They're going to come after any property you have. And if it's not exempted, they might get it. So I always tell them to set up either an LLC, a limited liability corporation, or a C Corp, which is a traditional corporation. You would be amazed how many other clients come in here and essentially they're working with their best friends and their general partnerships. Now a general partnership is similar to a sole proprietorship. There is no protection, but it's even worse because if you got your best friend from school and you guys start making good money, but he lives with his parents, and you're worth, you know, 500000 if not more, who do you think, if litigation ensues, they're going to go after? You. No protections. So I always tell my clients, let's form an LLC. Now, an LLC, as I said, is a limited liability corporation. Now, it is a hybrid between a partnership and a corporation. And that's why Texas loves them so much and that's why I love them so much. The middle class small business owner. Creating an LLC is exactly what you want. It's a flow through taxation so you don't get hit with double tax. Furthermore, it protects all your personal assets because it's not a part of the corporation. So if you get sued, they're gonna have to go over the corporation and not you. If you want to enter into an LLC agreement with your friend, your best friend, multi-members, that's possible and it's easy to dissolve. It's not like a corporation. Now, a corporation, that's when you start when you begin to make about 10 to 20 million dollars. That's when you want to think about going for a corporation. Investors love them. They love them because they're a lot harder to dissolve, they're firm, and they're easier for acquisitions, both for assets and shares. So when you go for the big time, that's usually when you switch to a corporation. But you gotta pay a little more money to the big man upstairs too. And when I say big man, I mean the federal government. It's double taxation. You don't get that with an LLC, partnership, or sole proprietor. Now, there's also what we call an S-Corp, and there are certain requirements that I'm not going to go into right now, but essentially you have to be a citizen to do that, and it is flow-through taxation as well. We have a CPA we work directly with at the NACOL law firm to ensure that you get the best taxation possible and that your assets are protected as well as they can be. Now, one other business entity that I want to mention is a limited partnership. I'm not going to go into much of it right now, but usually those are involved in estate planning. And essentially with that, you have one general partner, which takes on all the liability, and a lot of limited partners. And all these limited partners, essentially, they're, more, they're mostly precluded from any kind of liability and their assets are protected. The general partner, um, the general partner is the person that takes the big hit. Those are usually in estates. They're, they use them in real estate as well. Not, not the business, not as the entity of choice for the small business owner. 
Now, before you start any business and you want to do it right, you need to talk to an experienced attorney. And by that, I mean me or Mark Nakal. Give us a call. We're happy to talk to you. You can give us a call at 972-690-3333 or just go online and look at the blogs. I've spent countless hours doing free legal work on these blogs to help people like you. So give us a call. Happy to talk to you.